Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how you can set up your Roku device. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I do own a Roku TCL Smart TV and also a Roku Streaming Stick Plus, which is a streaming dongle. So for this tutorial, I'll be using the Streaming Stick Plus 4K to demonstrate how to set up the device. But generally, the way you set up the Smart TV or the streaming dongles is more or less the same way. All right, so if you own a Roku Streaming Stick, simply plug it in to the HDMI port of your TV and then plug it into the power socket for power but you can also use your smart tv's usb port to power the streaming stick so i actually prefer using my tv's usb port because it's a lot more convenient once the streaming stick is powered on the roku logo will turn on and then you'll be prompted to select your language you'll also be prompted to pair with your roku remote so before you proceed simply make sure that you you have batteries inserted into the Roku remote and then to start the pairing process simply press on the pair button on the remote for about five seconds you should see an LED light flashing for roughly one second and then in a few seconds your Roku remote will be paired with your smart TV now that your Roku remote is paired with your TV you can now start using navigation using the remote all right so select your language Language. in my case I selected uh, English the next thing now would be to connect your streaming stick to a Wi-Fi remember this is an internet streaming device so it definitely requires internet before you start streaming content from Netflix Disney Plus HBO Max or any other streaming service so the dongle will start scanning for wireless networks right once you see your Wi-Fi network select it you'll be prompted to enter the password so enter the password of your wi-fi network here all right it will now start updating the software over the air so give it a few minutes for the updates to run and then after the updates run it will auto detect your display type and then also set the right resolution for your tv so if your tv is a 4k it most likely select 4k all right and then here you can use your rock remote to power on and off your tv and also increase or decrease the volume of the tv the rock will run through some checks just to make sure that it can control your TV. So for example here, it will play some music and see if you can control the playback volume. You can definitely set this remote later. It's not very necessary at this stage. And then the next stage is to activate your Roku streaming player. So to do that, you can either use your computer or you can use your smartphone and you'll be prompted to enter roku.com slash link on your smartphone or computer so i chose using my smartphone and then when you open that link you'll be asked to enter a particular auto generated code so just do that so on my phone here i opened roku.com slash link i entered the code all right if the code matches uh, then you'll be asked to create a roku account if you don't have one if you already have a Roku account you'll be prompted to log in into your Roku account so simply log in to your Roku account if you already have one like I do and now you'll be asked to name your device to default to the brand name of the device for example here I have Roku streaming stick plus and then you should also select the room that your device is located in so you have a selected range of uh, rooms that you can choose from all right if you You've done that now Roku will ask if uh, you want to set up cable TV or satellite uh, you can skip through this and then you'll be asked which streaming services you already subscribe to this is now Roku trying to customize your TV experience so I selected the streaming services I'm currently subscribed to and then Roku here is going to start building up your channel lineup based on your interests so 
just select what you're interested in here and Roku will be able to customize that for you. You can add more channels to your Roku. Yeah, so just remember that you can do this after the setup is complete. All right, we are almost done here. So you can always install the Roku mobile app which you can use to watch the Roku channel and also control your Roku streaming stick or smart TV with. All right, and if you're done that, the channels will now start installing or updating to your streaming stick or smart TV and we are done. Right, Roku is going to walk you through the basics here, how to navigate through your TV using your remote and so forth. And yeah, after that, you have all your channels now downloaded and your Roku home screen customized as per your requirements and this really looks nice I can see all my streaming services that I'm subscribed to right front and center here and this is really great now you can start streaming away so this has been how to set up the Roku streaming stick or the Roku smart TV